All right, all right, okay. I know a lot of people have been asking me to review more budget style headphones and budget style earbuds. So what I decided to do was reach out to Soul to ask them for some products to review and they provided. They gave me the Emotion Max over the ear active noise canceling headphones for review and definitely got to give them a shout out for that. I always love when companies collaborate, <laughs> but it's not going to change my opinion. I definitely will point out the pros and the cons. So let's start out with the specs of these real quick. They have 40 millimeter drivers, active noise canceling, and they also have transparency mode, aptX and AAC codex for the sound quality. They have 38 hours, 24 hours with talk and ANC if you decide to turn that on. 10 minutes will get you an hour and a half of charge time. Bluetooth 5.0, and they have multi-point connections. So if you've seen other reviews on what that is, basically you can have you know two phones or your laptop and your phone, which is what most people will do. And if a call comes in, it takes priority from your phone. Or if you want to play something on the laptop and then you decide to play it on your phone, it'll switch the connection to that. And I definitely will give my feedback on that as well. And they're IPX4 sweat and water resist, sweat and dust resistance, I should say. So just good enough to get a sweat in them. I wouldn't go, you know, riding a bike in the rain with these. Now, the second thing I will cover is the design and build quality. So they basically give you everything you need. You know, the aux cable, USB-C to USB-A charging cable, two sets of ear cups, and a carrying pouch. Not a case, but like a suede filling carrying pouch. Now, I would say out of the two ear cups, you get better sound, ANC, and comfort out of the leatherette style that's already on the headphones. With that mesh style AirPods Max kind of feel ear cups that they give, I would say only use those if you plan to get these headphones dirty and like really work out on them a lot because the sound quality in ANC is diminished like 20 to 25 percent I would say. I don't have an accurate measurement of course but just in my experience. I always had a way better comforting experience and sound quality and ANC experience overall with the ear cups that already come with them. It, and I would say I probably had them on for like three or four hours before even getting sweaty or feeling ear fatigue. So out of the design overall, even with the buttons and the controls and how it feels, how it stretches out to kind of push it to a breaking point, the best design feature is really the comfort. So with design and build quality, in my experience, in my opinion, that's the best reason to get them is the comfort. Now let's get into the sound quality. These are gonna be best for hip hop. Now the bass isn't the most rumbling, you know, they're not gonna be Skull Candy level or anything like that, or even Sony, but the bass coincides with the volume pretty well to where it doesn't just get loud, you actually feel more bass as the volume increases. And some headphones on the cheaper category level don't do that. They just get louder and you're thinking there's more bass. But I wouldn't push these or use them for, you know, classical meditation music, binaural beats, um, you know, bands that I like to listen to when it comes to wanting to hear the details, Deftones, Tool, you know, things like that. I wasn't really impressed. And it, it just didn't really feel like anything more than what you get with like a Samsung phone with the AKG earbuds that you get. You know, it sounds pretty much just like that or what you would get with the AirPods when Apple used to have those come for free with iPhones. That's pretty much what it sounded like. You know, it sounded like something you would get for free with your phone. And I hate to say that, but that's just the best way to put it. You know, it does the job. It's great. But for me personally, I say casual listening experience because I use them for podcasts and audiobooks and YouTube videos the most. These are my workout headphones. That's the number one reason why I use them is because how comforting they were, how tight fitted they were without clamping, and they didn't make my ears sweat easy. They got the IPX4, but I just listen to audiobooks and stuff like that while working out. That's the number one reason why I use them when it comes to sound quality. All right, now with active noise canceling and transparency mode, the theme of that is just good enough. <laughs> so with active noise canceling, is about 25% difference where the biggest thing I noticed was low frequencies that were consistent. So the heating fan going on, uh, people conversating, especially all at the same time, that got subdued enough to where I'm like, all right, there's active noise canceling, but it felt more like passive noise isolation. And what I would have rather had done was if I was making these headphones is focus more on the music quality based on what I said and had ear cups that really blocked out as much noise as possible, which these passively do a decent amount. But, you know, if you're going to put transparency mode on there, 
it really only focused on my voice and increased the surrounding environment like 30% where typically it's about 80% if a pair of headphones or earbuds have that to where you're really letting in a lot of noise. And I didn't even hear artificial noise be let in. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's just getting out to where it's like, okay, they added it. But for me personally, I would have rather did away with it and then focus on the music quality because with the comfort, I would have been able to listen to, to watch a movie, listen to music, podcast, audiobooks for a very long time in peace, really. All right, now we're doing a microphone test in my quiet office. Test one, two, three. There's a white noise you hear when the microphone is accessed, but there's no side tone or anything. It's not like you hear yourself better. And what I'm going to do is play some ambient noise. It's about 80 to 90 decibels. All right, this is what it sounds like if you're in a coffee shop during a morning rush and test one, two, three. Hopefully it's good enough. Now let's bring up a few other things worth mentioning. So multi-point connectivity. They did a really great job with that. When it comes to the connectivity in general, I didn't notice any latency distance wise going from my office to the backyard, which is, you know, I live in about an 1100 square foot house. So going to the other side, stay connected until I pretty much reach the kitchen right by the door before I notice a little lag and latency playing video games, watching movies, YouTube, Amazon Prime, listening to music, especially with Apple Music, didn't notice any issues. So when it comes to connectivity, that's another bonus is it was reliable, it worked, it was good. And especially with phone calls, switching between playing something on my laptop and getting a phone call. So despite the flaws I mentioned with the ANC and transparency mode, that was another big bonus. That was another big pro. So overall, what I recommend is yes, just don't get your you know don't get your hopes up when it comes to ANC and transparency mode. Just know it's going to be just good enough for the low frequencies and consistent conversations you hear around you if you're using them in a coffee shop. And then as far as the pros, the dang comfort and connectivity reliability made it all the worthwhile. So if you're looking for a pair of workout headphones, which is what I highly recommend them for, these are it to go on the budget end. That's what I probably would use them for, especially if you think about the gym. You have a lot of people in there, a lot of fans, a lot of machines running. I think it's going to do best in a gym environment. That's who I recommend these for. So thanks so much for watching this review. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments, and I'll see you all on the next one.